we've come to this beautiful site here in the wildflower gardens below St Ives. And although it looks like a pristine area, we're going to have a look at some of the problems that are floating just under the surface. So there's a couple of things going on down in this waterway here. We're looking at the microplastic and we're also looking for the macro invertebrates, so the little bugs that are in the waterway that tell us a lot about the health of the stream, which we're going to go and have a look at now. So, so if you're looking at it from a catchment point of view, and we've seen a few different things, can you just take us through what we're actually looking at here? Yeah, absolutely. So we're down here checking the water quality of our catchment. So we come down to the lowest point we can in the catchment and we're testing for different water quality parameters. We take some samples away. Some of that includes E. coli to see, you know, how bad it is, whether we can swim in there or have some recreation in our natural waterways. And other things are nitrogen and phosphorus, so different pollutants that come from the urban areas and we see how far they're, they're flushing downstream and how they're impacting our more natural environments. The other thing we're looking for is the aquatic macroinvertebrates. So all the little bugs that live in the creek, they give us a really good indication of the overall health of the system. Not just at this point in time, but the, the little ecosystem that we've got down here can tell us um, how good the water quality and the habitat quality is. So if we have lots of sensitive species, then, then that's a good sign. And if we, we don't have so many sensitive species, then it tells us that it's a little more impacted. So it's not just about how many of those invertebrates we have, but the assemblage, what sort of, what species we have. Yeah, that's it. Looking at the different families and some families like caddisfly larvae are, are more sensitive than other families like snails and, and some worms that you usually find in, in your more urban creeks. Yeah, so this is our macroinvertebrate sampling that we're doing here at the moment. Haley's gone along in the waders and she's stirred up all the sediment and the leaves and everything in the creek, tried to get out those little beasties that live in the local environment here. And now we're going to go through with tweezers, pick them out, <laughs> see what we can find. And then hopefully the little things living in here will give us an indication about the overall quality of Karingai Creek and, and how healthy it is. And then we're also looking for the microplastics. Yeah, so microplastics is a relatively new thing we're looking for. Um, we're combining with research from other organisations such as Macquarie Uni and we're looking to see how far plastics are, are persisting in the environment, how long they're staying for and how that might be impacting some of those, those habitats that we have. This is ending up in the ocean so it's also our contribution to that global problem. That's it. Microplastics are known to carry different toxins and things into the environment. There's a lot of research going on. This particular creek goes all the way down into the, the Hawkesbury River and which then goes out into the Pacific Ocean. So it's all connected. It all gets there eventually. How fast that happens? Not really sure how it might be impacting our, our creeks and waterways. So we're just starting to, to check that out now. This is our macroinvertebrate sample from Tree Fern Gully. We've got some sensitive species in there, that's good. We've got some mayflies, we've got some caddisflies. There's some little freshwater shrimp that have gone orange in the ethanol. But we'll take these back and we'll formally identify everything in there and, and then we'll get our index for stream health. So if you've been working in these creeks for a while, have you seen a change? Yeah, definitely. Um, Overall, they're probably still the same, but individual parts of some creeks have gone through a lot of change, particularly with the changes in development type that has gone in, in the area. Some of our local creeks have really had a big impact in changed hydrology, different amounts of pollution. Um, some areas we've seen come better, so some areas where we've put some effort into regen and creek stabilisation, they're becoming really good, um, and then other areas are, are copying it. So. We're trying to do the balance of making sure that we keep everything as good as we possibly can and then make things that little bit better. Our creek lines are, they're, they're beautiful. A lot of people don't get down and sort of have the experience to see them or to walk the bushwalks around them. Do you have any advice for people who want to come and have a, a look? The Karinga Wildflower Garden here is a great place to have a walk around. There's little hidden gems around the place. Ask the, the local rangers and they'll let you know some good spots to go and check out. The waterfalls are fantastic. If there's been a little bit of rain, definitely. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.